How's everyone doing? Here's the race of the day for Saratoga on Saturday, the Traverse Stakes. And it's a really interesting chart. I want to explain it in detail. I'm really going to try to stick to the chart. Obviously, I'm going to add some commentary. I've been watching these horses uh, all year. got my own biases. But uh, I want to be as honest as I can, as forthcoming with w what you're seeing on this chart. Okay, and by the way, if you want the full Saratoga card for Saturday, uh, you can get it for just ten dollars on Horse Racing Nation. Um, go to Expert Picks; you can get it for ten dollars, and uh, I think it'll help you tremendously. I was at Saratoga last year for the Travers, had a blast, and uh, my charts were great. Uh, if you want, you can also become a customer. Um, you get the monthly subscription for forty dollars. And you get every single track in America every single day of the month. Okay? All right. Let's look at what we got here. Now, first of all, let's talk about the two tosses. Okay? And the two tosses are the three and the four who have no shot based on the odds and are really slow on energy. 92 of energy is much slower than these top three horses and those are the two tosses. They will not hit the superfecta. And uh, so we can ignore them. Now, the plus horse goes to the best combination on my charts of letter grade and value. And that's Rich Strike. And Rich Strike has a very interesting odds lines. PFDS odds, which is really a, uh, looking at all past performances and what's the horse's probability of winning and only gives this horse a, basically a 16 to one shot of winning. But best odds isolates on a single race. And of course, in this case, that's gonna be the Kentucky Derby. And Rich Strike won the Kentucky Derby and would be basically the favorite if, if you only looked at the horse's best race. But as we know, in that race, there was a tremendous speed duel that set up for Rich Strike and you know before that the horse didn't look like much and then in the belmont the horse really came back to earth so this 20 dollars of value is being based off this 2.7 to 1 on best odds and without that 20 to 1 without that option this horse would actually be an underlay 10 to 1 versus 16 to 1 and so the way i'm playing rich strike is a closer who could hit the board Okay, um, I don't think any higher than third is the highest I would play that horse. All right, now let's talk about Artorias and Cyberknife. So Cyberknife uh, is not a horse I like very much, but ran really impressive in the Haskell. Um, rail trip, had a ton of run, pushed through, got paused at the top of the stretch, ducked down, uh, and really fought on hard. The track was super fast. They, they, they set a track record. Multiple track records were set that day. Um, he and Taba were in a battle down to the wire, and Cyberknife pulled it off. Okay. However, on energy, this horse only gets a 96 compared to these 102s, 104s, and 102s from Zandon early, Epicenter early voting. So the horse, to me, is sl slower. And this horse is going to get a bunch of buzz. Uh, right now, Brad Cox is saying this horse has never done better. Um, and the horse is ready to run huge. I do like the rail draw for this horse. I was analyzing Saratoga's uh, nine furlong races and, and longer. It's only been 13. And you want to be drawn inside. Post one to three, one eight out of 13. And you want to be within one length of the lead, nine out of 13 were within one length of the lead. So, you you know, his draw is good. I don't know how close he's going to be to the early lead. I think he'll be farther than a length back. But um, great post draw. And, you know, I think could make an impact, but off that Haskell performance. But another thing is I've never been a big fan of the Haskell horses coming to Saratoga. The surface is just dramatically different. Um, yes, there have been horses that have won on both, but I like the horses coming out of uh, the Jim Dandy and Curlin, okay, stakes. 
So I'm going to fade Cyberknife. I think this horse is going to get bet down. It's going to be clear second choice. And um, I'm going to fade that one. Now, Artorias is only raced twice. And now third race lifetime is going to go 10 furlongs. Uh, had a maiden race. Had uh, uh, the nine furlong curling stakes. Now is going 10 furlongs against the best horses in the country. Um, you know, son of Arrogate. They think this horse has a ton of upside. It probably does. This is just asking an awful lot early. Um, gets really bad scores on PFDS and best odds because the horse is just so lightly raced and has never competed against horses this of this quality. I think the horse is a bad bet at 9-2. to two. Okay? So now we're done up to these top three. And these top three are the battle-tested horses who've been racing against the top company, and they got the three best energy scores, 102, 104, 102. Now, let's talk about Epicenter. This is a horse I like. Um, this horse has won wire to wire. This horse has raced against Zandon three times, beat Zandon all three times. Zandon has no excuse in all three losses to Epicenter. Epicenter has been breaking slowly, though, lately. Hasn't been able to get the lead like he used to. And I'm not convinced he can do it now. But... In, in this last race, for example, he got outbroke by Tawny Port, who had Irad on him. And Irad, I think, deliberately came over in front of Epicenter um, and put Epicenter in a tough position. Epicenter was last in a field of four um, and rallied from off the pace and, and won pretty easily. Now, Epicenter was not cranked up for that race. And I think Epicenter will improve off that performance obviously likes the Saratoga surface and just makes complete sense. I'm hoping Epicenter breaks well and outbreaks um, the five horse Arturius, who doesn't look to be breaking that well. So I'm hoping if Epicenter breaks well and outbreaks Artorias, there's really nobody else with that much speed to his inside. He should get a nice spot going into that first turn. Now, early voting won the Preakness, got kind of a dream trip, and um, chased, a, chased a target and held on for dear life late in the race. That was nine and a half furlongs. The horse was tiring. And then the horse tired pretty badly in the Jim Dandy. It's hard to trust that horse off that performance. But the horse has speed. And Chad Brown might have made adjustments. Uh, this horse certainly is capable of running a huge race going to try a similar tactic i would think which is go to the lead and and try to hold on now they might do some something cute and try to rate this horse and give this horse a target you never know and if that's the case epicenter might be on the lead uh which i don't think is bad for epicenter but we'll see what happens uh I think early voting will go to the lead, but you never know in horse racing. They might want to give this horse a target, and uh, Epicenter then could actually be on the lead. I don't think Cyberknife will be on the lead. Um, Howard has, has some tactical speed, but this horse has never been close to the lead, so I don't think this horse will be on the lead. I think the lead horse is either early voting or Epicenter, and it's all going to be based on instructions from Jose and uh, Chad Brown what they decide to do. Uh, and then you got Zandon. Zandon is a closer, uh, not ideal. And it gets outside draw of eight. I don't see this horse being anywhere close to the lead. He's going to make a late run um, and will probably hit the trifecta. The horse is very consistent and might run. Un could could be a six, eight exacta, um, just like the Jim Dandy. Epicenters beat this horse all three times they've raced. And hard for me to imagine a reversal uh, tomorrow uh, on Saturday in the Travers. So I'm going to play it epicenter to win, Zandon to take second, and either early voting or Ridge Strike to take third. And I'm going to try to beat the one in the five. Where that's where I think the value is, trying to beat those two horses. Good luck. It's going to be a great race, great card. 
Hope you guys uh, buy my product. You'll get every uh, every track on Saturday for $10, including Saratoga. I think it'll help you a lot. Have a great day.